Hello everyone. So I decided to do this quick video about the Compits window manager. Again, it's quite old stuff. People consider it legacy like almost 10 years ago already, but I still use it every day. Not because of eye candy, which it is famous for, but because it's super useful. It has features I haven't seen anywhere else. There might be other window managers that have some of the features of it out of the box, but I'm not aware of any other that would have every one of them in a nice package. Compits consists of plugins, so let's go through them. Here I'll open up the Compits config settings manager. Let's start with the basic window management plugins. First off, there's the application switcher. It's this one. Familiar, for example, from every Windows operating system, so when you Alt-Tab to switch applications. Then, similar to other window managers on almost any popular Linux distro, you have the Move Window plugin, which allows you to move any window just by pressing down the Alt key and dragging with the mouse from anywhere over to window. It's super handy because you don't have to search for a specific corner or title bar or whatever to initiate the move. Similar to the Move Window plugin is the Resize window. I bound the function to the right mouse button, so I press down Alt and drag with the right mouse button from basically anywhere on the window, and the window gets resized. Next we have the Grid system. It splits the desktop into virtual grid and allows you to tile windows neatly. The Place Windows plugin allows you to open up windows placed in a smart position where there is space for them to open. For example, if I open a bunch of terminal windows, they open up where you'd expect them to open. Then we have the Put plugin. It allows me to move windows almost like with the grid system, but it's not resizing them. It also quickly allows me to move windows to another virtual desktop. You can see I have the screen recorder running on my other virtual desktop here. Then there's the window rules plugin, which would allow me to specify some exceptions if needed. For example, if I wanted to have some sticky note window on top of everything else. Next we have the Scale plugin, which is very useful if I have a bunch of windows open. I can just toggle the scaling effect and select the window I'm looking for. This is especially useful if I have a lot of windows stacked on top of each other. Moving on to Utilities, we have the Resize info that gives me the pixel size of the window when I'm resizing it. Or when I'm resizing a terminal window, it gives me the size in characters. The Annotate plugin is immensely useful. It's this orange drawing thing I've been using all the time to highlight stuff. This is one of the best features of Compits out of the box, I think. I know there exists some separate annotation software, but it just works so flawlessly here. I can use this whenever I'm doing a presentation, which has been immensely useful in my work. I've been using it for like 13 years or so, so I wouldn't really use a computer without an annotation software anymore. The Firepaint plugin is similar to the Annotate plugin, it just gives this glowing effect. The Window Decoration plugin I mainly use for the window shadows. On my work computer that's running Xubuntu, I do have title bars, but on my personal rig I don't even have the title bars. I haven't used them in 15 years and haven't really missed them. Then we have the Animations plugin. What's important to realize is that the animations aren't just eye candy. Of course, it looks easy on the eyes when windows open up like this smoothly. Or when I minimize a window, it kind of fades out and back in. But take for example the Wobbly Windows plugin I use to animate, maximize and unmaximize functions. 
If I have a bunch of terminal windows open and I maximize one, and then I unmaximize it, I can see from the animation immediately which terminal window was it and where did it go. So if there's a lot of window action going on, animations help keep track of what's happening on the screen in everyday work. Next we have the infamous Desktop Cube plugin. So whenever people are talking about Compit, this plugin is the first thing that comes to their mind. I'm using just two virtual desktops, so my desktop cube is just a flat pane that flips over. But if I increase the number of virtual desktops to four and add a key binding to initiate the rotation, this is what the desktop cube looks like. So it's this silly cube effect thing for switching your virtual desktops. It's really not useful at all, but for some reason that's what Compit is famous for. I do have the plugin enabled still to have switching between my two virtual desktops somehow animated. A much more useful plugin is the Expo. If you have a bunch of windows open, you can use the Expo plugin to organize the windows between your virtual desktops like this. Then there's the negative plugin, which makes any window display in negative colors. So if there's like some application with white background and black text, I can use the negative plugin to read white text on black background instead, which I much prefer. And finally there's the enhanced zoom desktop plugin that zooms the area around your cursor. As I'm using a television as a display and sit quite far from it, it's very useful to be able to zoom using software as looking just a bit closer doesn't really change the apparent screen size that much. For the sake of completeness, I'll go through the rest of my desktop environment. So I use Compits as my window manager. From XFC I took the panel and the tuner file manager, although I also sometimes use Ranger. The terminal is also from XFCE. As for the desktop, you might have noticed it blends pictures every now and then, and for that I use a custom script. It's just a shell script that uses image magic to blend images taken by myself. I wrote the script because I recently switched to an OLED display and wanted to avoid screen burning. It's especially a problem with the static icons in the system tray area, but I also wrote another script to resize the panel every now and then, so as you just saw, my panel changed its size. Now, since Compits is quite old, I do have to compile it myself. Although, as you can see, I'm a long time Gento user, so that's nothing new to me. But I still had some trouble compiling Compits the last time. There was one plugin that just refused to compile, so I just stripped it out of the code base completely. I also needed some 4K tweaks and a symbolic link when installing, some minor things like that. But if the package is available as binary for your distro, then obviously you won't have those problems. Compits is nowadays almost a dead project, and this version I'm using, 0.9.14.2, is already two years old. There's been only a couple of patches during the past eight years or so. But I'm still using it and haven't heard of anything that would offer me the same features. I'm also not using Wayland either, I'm using the good old Xarc, so Compits works for me just fine. It's smooth, there's no tearing, it simply works once you get it running. So that's Compits Window Manager for you. If you are aware of modern alternatives that would offer similar functionality, please let me know in the comments. And if Compits seems like a cool window manager, try it out. The more the project is used, the less likely it is to die ultimately. If you are interested in the OLED anti-burn in scripts, they are available on GitHub in my .files repository. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.